Hello! In this video, I'll be showing you how to level up your alchemy skill as quickly as possible. Much like with smithing, the amount of XP you get from making potions depends on the value of the item you craft. So, with that in mind, I'm going to show you how to make some of the most valuable potions in the game and where to get the ingredients. Now, before you start crafting any potions, there are a couple of things you can do that will boost the amount of XP you get. First of all, you'll need to activate the Thief Stone. This is one of the three Guardian Stones you'll pass at the start of the game on the way from Helgen to Riverwood, and it will make your alchemy skill level up 20% faster. Next, you'll want to sleep in a bed you own or at an inn. This will give you the Well Rested buff, which makes your skills level an additional 10% faster for 8 hours. If your character is married, you can sleep in the same house as your other half for the Lover's Comfort buff. That will give you a 15% boost. This 30-35% to boost will make levelling your alchemy much faster. The most valuable potions you can make require Giant's Toe. Giant's Toes can be obtained, unsurprisingly, by killing giants. There are numerous camps around the map where you can find them. Just be careful taking them on at low level, unless you want to join the space program. The best way to tackle them is to get up onto high ground where they can't reach you and pick them off with a bow. The other ingredients you'll need are bear claws and hanging moss. Bear claws are obtained, of course, by killing bears. You'll find plenty of them all around Skyrim, with the rift being a particularly good place to hunt. Hanging moss is commonly found in caves. Two excellent places to find it are Bloated Man's Grotto and Dustman's Cairn. Here are some other valuable potions you can make using Giant's Toe. Giant's Toes, while very useful, are quite rare and a bit of a pain to collect, so there are a couple of alternative recipes you can try. Firstly, you'll need Chorus Eggs. One good location to find these is Frostflow Abyss, which is beneath Frostflow Lighthouse, southeast of Dawnstar. You can collect around 500 eggs here, but be warned, it's quite a challenging location to clear. Another good place is Chillwind Depths, which is south of Dragonbridge. You can also find the next ingredient here, Namira's Rot. This is a fungus that you'll often find in caves. Finally, you'll need a Lunar Moth Wing. Lunar Moths only appear between 8pm and 11pm. Good places to find them include Talking Stone Camp, which is northeast of Rorikstead, and Bloated Man's Grotto, which I mentioned earlier. Another combination you can try is Chorus Eggs, Garlic, and Vampire Dust. This potion is actually more valuable than the previous one, but Vampire Dust can be hard to obtain. You can, of course, buy ingredients from alchemy vendors. They restock every 48 hours, or you can reset their inventory by saving your game, attacking them, and then reloading. Once you've stockpiled plenty of ingredients, you can start crafting your potions. You should find that your skill will level quite quickly. As you level up your skill, it's worth investing some perk points in alchemy. This will allow you to create more potent and therefore valuable potions. You can also craft some gear with the Fortify Alchemy enchantment to further boost your potions. As with the other skills in the game, there are several skill books that will increase your alchemy by one when you read them. You might want to save these to help you reach the higher levels. The books are A Game at Dinner, Herbalist's Guide to Skyrim, De Rerum De Renis, Manamarco, King of Worms, and Song of the Alchemists. You can also gain five levels in alchemy by reading the Ogma Infinium and choosing the Path of Shadow. The Ogma Infinium is obtained by completing the quest Discerning the Transmundane, which you'll start by speaking to Septimus Cygnus, usually as part of the main quest. You can also gain a level in alchemy by speaking to Frida, the alchemist in Dawnstar. She will ask you to retrieve the Ring of Pure Mixtures from one of several possible locations. The Ring of Pure Mixtures has the Fortify Alchemy enchantment, so you may be tempted to keep it, but there are other ways you can get this enchantment, so it's worth giving it back to Frida to gain that extra level. 
If you're following the Dark Brotherhood questline, you can get another item with the same effect from Muiri in Markar. She will ask you to complete a contract for her with an optional extra. Should you do this, she will give you a ring that has the Fortify Alchemy enchantment. Another way to level alchemy that I haven't mentioned so far is to pay for training. You can pay a trainer to level up your skill five times per character level, and this gets increasingly more expensive the higher level you get. I'd suggest using a combination of crafting potions and paying for training in order to level your skill. The final method is to use the Fortify Restoration Glitch. This is an exploit that will allow you to make insanely overpowered potions that will level your skill to 100 almost immediately. I don't really recommend it, but if you're interested, I do have a video showing you how to do it. Well guys, I hope you found that helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, there's a link for that in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.